Hello, time has come for another podcast recommendation video. Today I have seven podcasts for you. I do all these videos every like 18 months and I've been going up from five to six and now seven, but I think from now on I'm gonna go back down because eight is a lot to fit in one video. Couple notes before we start. I got Invisalign in my teeth the other week, so I'm really lispy and please don't be mean about it. Also, if my chair squeaks, can't do anything about it, sorry. As always, every podcast I mention, I will link below along with a taster episode that I think is a good introduction to the podcast. Um, and yeah, let's get started. The first podcast I have for you is Everything Is Alive. This is by Ian Schillag for the Radiotopia Network. And it's a podcast where he interviews inanimate objects. Um, that sounds so bizarre, but it works really well. So he gets an actor on that's been prepped a little bit, uh, but mostly it's like a freeform talk about them talking from the perspective of this object. So they've done like a can of coke, a lamp post, pregnancy test, a pillow, um, just kind of often everyday things. Um, and you just kind of get to see the life of that thing through the perspective of this, yeah, strange format. Occasionally it does feel a bit trite when they try and slip in these other little kind of factoids about the thing, uh, but mostly it's a very natural conversation and it makes you think about the things around you a bit differently. Um, it's quite hard to describe beyond that, but yeah, I would recommend if you want something a bit more experimental. My second podcast that will be familiar to you YouTube veterans out there is Dear Hank and John. So this is the Vlogbrothers, John and Hank Green, uh, doing this advice podcast. They've been going for almost four years now um, and it's just great. Like every week they, they, they have letters come in and they just give advice, but I've just been enjoying it so much recently. They did a live episode a couple of weeks ago, well, they released a live episode a couple of weeks ago and it was just so funny and charming and I really respect both of them. I just think they have a lot of good advice to give and it's good to hear from someone that's a bit older, but not so old. I feel like it's hard thinking of someone that's like 10, 15, 15 years older than me, I think, ish. Um, that's kind of a section of your life where you don't really know people. Why would you know people that are like 15 years older than you? You kind of, like, that's halfway between you and your parents, ish. Um, so I don't I don't get many perspectives of this sort of like approaching middle age kind of life. Um, and uh, I don't know where I went off on that. It's a good, it's a very funny podcast would recommend. The third podcast I have for you is Dear Sugars by Steve Almond and Cheryl Strayed. This is also an advice podcast and oh, it just warms my cold dead soul. It is so beautiful. So they were doing this for about four years as well, WBUR Boston, um, and they actually decided to end the show back in September, I believe. Um, but there's the back catalogue is really thorough. But annoyingly, they've made it so there's only like, I think, 50 episodes odd on the actual podcast feed, but you can get them all on their site, like every episode since the beginning. So this is an advice podcast, but it's like really deep. Like they go really hard in. So each episode is usually like two, maybe three uh, like questions around a theme. Um, and they're quite dark and quite pivotal things for people struggling, you know, to struggle with. So stuff like um, issues with sex and relationships, issues with like, you know, parents issues of being like a stepchild those are these are all terrible examples hold on <laughs> is porn wrong when your loved ones just don't get it uh they have some quick fire rounds about friendships and relationships which i really like the power of no they had oprah on for that and it was just lovely how do i find the courage to be my own guide i'm a i'm a transgender man seeking acceptance oh that's so good can a sexual assault survivor love a rapist uh, just like really uh, hardcore topics and they come to them with such empathy and such love and wisdom and they're like the godparents I wish I had you know like I, I think you can see that they've they've been through a lot themselves and um and now they're just imparting all of that that really kind wisdom onto other people I love it so much um Cheryl Strayed also she wrote the memoir Wild uh which I read a few months I guess around the time that the podcast was finishing. I probably talked about this podcast in a video before. Um, and I watched, I finally watched the movie last month, one with um, Reese Witherspoon, and it was also fantastic. So there is more Cheryl Strayed out there for you to explore once you feel like you've sucked all of the knowledge out of the podcast. The fourth podcast I have for you is like a very different to the ones we've been talking about. And it's called A Very Fatal Murder, and it's by The Onion. It is a satirical, like, crime podcast. There are only seven episodes, 10 minutes long. It's exact, they finished it at just the right time. 
and it is hysterical. I listened to it all the way through like twice or three times and oh they just they just nail it. If you listen to any true crime podcasts um there's like <laughs> I feel like post serial it really exploded and there were a lot of people just like digging up cold cases and not actually getting anywhere but it being in this very like NPR-y soothing voice situation that made it everything seem really important. <laughs> this is like that but it's a massive satire. I'm not usually into satire but this is just incredible. They also have like fake ad reads and stuff and then as soon as you think the format's getting a bit boring they just throw in a massive curveball and it is hilarious and also really short so you can literally just listen to it in the afternoon. These recommendations are kind of going all around the place. So the next one we have is You, Me and the Big C uh, which is about cancer. Uh, this is a BBC Five Live podcast and it was started by Rachel Bland who was in was a BBC broadcaster and she um, had breast cancer and she kind of discovered this really amazing community online of people you know going through um, treatments for cancer. So she brought together two of her friends Lauren and Deborah. Um, Lauren was in remission for breast cancer, Deborah has bowel cancer, um, to just talk about cancer more openly and uh, the podcast was a really is a really great way to do it. I actually discovered this um, quite sadly in August when Rachel died from her cancer um, and but they've kept it going since then uh, with her her husbands on the show a lot. They have episodes on topics ranging from child cancer to how cancer changes your relationship with food, um, things about palliative care and they always have really interesting guests on as well that experts in those fields or people that have like treated them or been part of their cancer journey um, and I think it's just done a really amazing thing about destigmatizing talking about cancer uh, and also they're just like a funny lot to have together and I love that they love a glass of wine. <laughs> to be honest the last couple months I've been increasingly annoyed by it because they're just often talking about how they're getting loads of awards and stuff and not really having those deep chats anymore but it's one of those ones that's kind of worth listening to from the beginning to get the full story the whole way through. The next podcast I have for you is Answer Me This by Helen Zaltzman and Ollie Mann. I, this is the reason I'm making this video is that I'm on the last episode I have of this podcast and I only started listening to it two weeks ago. They've been doing it since 2007, absolute veterans. Um, their first 200 episodes are behind a paywall, it's like 89 pin episode, I will eventually dig into that when I, like after today when I run out, I need to get more. But they're now on like 370, um, 371 and it's just a kind of a combination of like an advice podcast and just a question and answer thing. So they get people writing in about random stuff they need advice on but also people writing and being like I've had this question in my mind for like decades, please can you solve it for me? <laughs> and one of them like you know, does the googling before the show and, and tells the other one the, the answer will answer. I actually wrote an email to them the other day with two questions. One was why do, um, what's the point in having automatic taps if we don't have automatic stall doors? And the other question was, can plants live forever? Because, you know, they have a youth and an adulthood and then they're just, they're just dead. So theoretically, could you just, I, I'm looking forward to hearing them answer them if they do. I've heard of this podcast before, but I've always thought the album artwork is like a little crappy and um, there's so, there's a lot of jingles which I thought was really weird and then also there's this strange echoey voice that I thought was really weird but now I am like so in there I like know all the words to all the jingles Martin the Sandman is my god like <laughs> it's fantastic so also Helen on of Helen and Ollie is Helen Zaltzman that also runs the Illusionist podcast uh, I'm not sure if I've talked about it before it's also on the Radiotopia network which is a podcast about words and it's also fantastic I think that's the reason I decided to finally listen to this um, no regrets it's fantastic and the last podcast I have for you is Ologies by Ali Ward this is a an interview podcast where Ali Ward interviews scientists mostly like you know it's science educators um, of all of these different ologies so she did an episode with Hans Zaltzman the other week about like etymology the origin of words but she has things like selenology about the moon and like felineology about cats and there's one about like crow funerals and trees and bugs and like just anything any she's kind of so enthusiastic about any subject matter it makes you really enthusiastic about it it's just like it's really great I love the format as well because she's interviewing someone but she also does all these little asides during the thing to either 
elaborate on something the interviewee has said or just like go off on a tangent. It's really funny, it's really enthusiastic and I've learned so many random interesting facts. Absolutely love it. I've just noticed that every podcast I've recommended to you, Everything Is Alive and Dear Hank and John, I was listening from when they started. But all of the other ones, I've come in quite late to the game and literally listened to every available episode by now. Then most of them have been things that I've discovered and only listened to that for, you know, two weeks straight or three weeks straight or however long it takes to get through them all. <laughs> Didn't realise I was a podcast ninja until right now. I feel like I've got a format for these podcast recommendations things now that I have to follow through. If you don't know how to listen to podcasts, there are so many apps for your phone. I personally love this one called Pocket Casts. It makes it really easy to find podcasts. Um, you can change the speed. This is really hard to do backwards. So have cues, which is really great. My last episode of Answer Me This. Uh, really fantastic uh, app if you are not sure what to get. I actually have the premium version of Pocket Cast. I think it's about three pounds. It's worth it. Um, I think it's on Android and iPhone. So there you go, no excuse. I hope you've enjoyed this video and next time I do a podcast recommendation video, I'm gonna have perfect teeth, which is just gonna be fantastic. If you have any podcasts for me, please recommend them down below. Or if you want more recommendations, or more if you say like, oh, I like comedy and politics, write in the comments, I'll give you more personal podcast recommendations. I literally have hundreds I've listened to. I'm a very big podcast inhaler. So I have endless recommendations. I literally could do 15 of these videos, but I think combining it to one every year and a half uh, is a good idea because then it gets refined into the best ones I've listened to in that time. Fantastic. I will see you for my monthly reviews next week. And um, until then, have a lovely day. Bye. I just threw wax all over my wall when putting my room back. I regret putting so much effort into the background of the shot, but now you know how much it was worth.